Greetings, everybody. There's Mama K back there. I'm in a random parking lot at the ICOT Center, which is the new Wagon Wheel Flea Market Part 2, I guess, if you want to call it that. I'm setting up here today, and you're watching Video Game Wizard on YouTube. Woo! Hi everybody. I hope I make money. Yeah, I hope I make money too. Woo. What are you doing, mother? I'm selling a pair of panties. She's selling a pair of panties apparently. They're not mine. Oh god. Anyway, here's my setup. We got my pops, Power and Sync band. We got look at all these games. Let me come around on this side so you can get a good look. This is my setup here at ICOT, also known as uh, Wagon Wheel 2.0 for the time being. And I'll keep you guys posted if Mama K sells any of her panties. Woo. Yeah, this is the uh, new the new digs. There's all the fruit and vegetable vendors. And then back on the other side is more Wagon, well, Wagon Wheel 2.0 is what they call it. So anyway, I'm gonna go walk around and uh, maybe we can find some stuff. Let's do this. Here is more of the flea market. I'm looking around trying to find some games, guys. But so far, not finding anything. Just picked this up for a dollar. It says two dollars, but he's a dollar. It's a sealed, complete fifth series of Doctor Who. I know I'm gonna get money for this because it is Doctor Who. A lot of people are interested in that show. I'll probably list that as a BBC show. Anyway, I'll see you guys later at the market. Woo. As we watch Mama K in her natural born habitat. Oh shit, Crocky, she spotted me. <laughs> okay, so I just made a sale of, of a Bucks jersey for $20. So I'm on the board, hell yeah. And I have to show you something um, I didn't really want to show you, but look at, Josh put a sticker on, on the back of my Tucson. I didn't realize what it was, but let's take a look at what he put. Let's go, Brandon. Josh, why would you put that there? I am not affiliated with either side, by the way, just so you guys know. But yeah, just stuck that there because he thought it would be funny. Uh, I almost sold Bart Simpson. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I got this yesterday. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put those clips in before or after this, but yeah, I'm going to throw in some clips of me finding some insane stuff. And one of those items was a Bart Simpson. Okay, greetings everybody. I'm going to start something new just for this episode alone because I don't feel like making it an extra garage sale episode. I'm going to throw some clips in right after this and it's going to be some amazing finds that I've had um, it, this last week. So roll, roll the clips and we're going garage sale. Woo. What's up? Aaron making me walk all the way. Yeah, we're pawn everywhere. shopping in Tampa. I'm taking my good friend John to a doctor's appointment. Your only friend, so, John. So we're hitting up a few pawn shops. I just picked up a couple games in the back seat that I'll show you in a second. One PS5, one PS4. Anyway, I'll see you guys I'm at our to next get my stop. Arm fixed and he's out pawning. Well, we got three hours to kill, so we're killing time. Look at this. It hurts. Woo! Greetings everybody, this is, this is impromptu. This is really impromptu. Just stopped at Goodwill over by my place. Um, I bought a Wii for $25, and then I bought, I don't want to give up all of their information, but I do want to show you parts of the receipt. I paid $2.98, 24 for the Wii, $2.98 for um, the game, and then I, I, I donated uh, the remaining eight cents to round up, but I had to round up. This was two dollars and ninety-eight cents. I got. Look at this, Metroid Prime Echoes Two on the GameCube for two ninety-eight. But look at this, 
I can't get a good angle of it. I'm going to show you when I get back to the store. Still has the sticker on it. This is brand new fact factory sealed Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. I'm going to turn two, 298 $3, probably into two $300 easily. I don't find stuff like this, not for that price. I am freaking out. I got some phone calls to go make. Oh my God. Greetings everybody! Um, this is going to go in a hunt video, a market video, it's going to go somewhere, I don't know where it's going, but uh, this is going to be the journey of Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Uh, so yesterday I bought a game at a Goodwill for $2.98 and I never find Holy Grails, but I found one. It was a Metroid Prime 2 Echoes which I have right here. I have it in a plastic case. I'm shipping it off to WADA. WADA, WADA, WADA. WADA, WADA, WADA. Anyway, I'm getting it graded. Um, so wish me luck. I took it to my friend Mike, who you've seen in a bunch of my live streams and videos and whatnot, and he's, he thinks based, because it's in mint condition. He looked it over. He's like, this is, this is dead mint. You know, you got to send this in. This is going to get at least a 9.4. Um, if it gets higher than a 9.4, then we could be talking, you know, high three digits. Depending on the grade, it could end up being four digits. I, I doubt I'm going to get four digits, guys, but it, who knows? Who knows? You never know what grade. You just send it off. You never know what grade you'll get. It is dead mint, but at the same time, you know, they could see there could, there could be like a little small little something on one side or, or whatever. You never know what they're going to, you never know what WADA is going to grade it or CGC or, or not, my, not, not my CGC, but the actual uh, <laughs> game grading company. Anyway, that's besides the point. So um, I'm going to go send this off, go in UPS. It'll be back in about a month, a month to a month and a half, give or take, depending on the business days. But... Fingers crossed, and I will see you guys in the next clip, and we'll see what happens in about a month. I'm out. Woo. Okay, guys, it's official. I'm going to set up here probably every weekend. Um, I just made an $80 sale. I just sold a here, Wii. take this too. I just sold a Wii, guys. A Wii. What is this, Lego Ultimate? Anyway. Judy has a Captain America first edition comic book over there. They don't know who that is, first Captain off. Captain America. No, not Captain America. Judy is the junk lady that sells over there. Uh, uh, and I yeah. looked it up, and it goes anywhere up to 50 to $60, $70 for that. This is my mom, Acacia. I've made it. I've made, guys, I'm going to come back next weekend. Flea market videos are saved. They're back. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to do this for a little bit, because... This is fun. I need the money. It helps Why not? Pay the store rent. Yeah, helps pay store rent, helps pay bills. I'll see you guys in the next clip. Boom. And the iCloud full of bars. Come down and check us out. I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know much what's going on. Why do you have a Okay, we're over at the ICOT Center, and I'm trying to make money. I made $35 so far. Good morning, y'all. Welcome to him. How much is the Hot Wheels Mario Kart thing? 50 bucks. 50 bucks? Brand new. Wow. Yeah, what system? I have a PS4. PS4, yeah. I'm looking for the older stuff, Nintendo, Super Nintendo. Oh, uh, yeah. Good luck with that. <laughs> yeah. Everybody likes that. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Bomb squad. Bomber. Wow. What were you what were you asking on everything? Oh, 350? Uh I don't even yeah. Yeah. 
Some idiot. I don't see it. That's why I put it in the car and he opened. It was sealed. He f***ing idiot opened this He supposed to be not. And I don't, don't see it. I don't see it. That's I don't know if you guys were watching my live stream. The live stream cut off. I just went to a guy I knew from the Mustang back from Wagon Wheel days. Um, I'm meeting him at his storage unit at like 1.30. That's all I'm going to say. My Robin Hood could potentially be going bye-bye in about 30 seconds. Greetings, everybody. I'm Eric Kucharski. I'm leaving the ICOT Center. Sorry I didn't get a lot of clips. Um, it was my first time set up here. But I'm on my way to go get a lot. Hopefully a big lot. Hopefully it doesn't cost me all of my Robin Hood. But it's going to be thousands for sure. Um, trying to calm down. Question of the day. I'm going to do it now before I leave. So we're still technically here. Um, do you guys think I'm going to get this really rare lot? Comment below. And comment how much you think I'm going to end up paying for it. Oh. Oh. Yeah. So my crazy week has continued. Yes, this lot was four grand. Yes, I pulled a lot of money out of Robin Hood. Yes, this lot is probably nine, ten thousand dollars So let's take a look at what I got. Here's the breakdown. For NES, we have Might and Magic. All of these, or most of these, I should say, are complete in box with all their stuff. Uninvited. We've got Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. We've got Manic Mansion. We've got Shadowgate. We've got Pool of Radiance. We've got, um, I don't, uh, Sir, I don't know how to pronounce this one. Sorry, guys. S-C-R-E-R-E. -E. No. Charade. It's almost, it's almost like it's pronounced Charade or something like that. We've got Faxanadu. We've got the Battle of Olympus. We've got, th this one's like $400, guys. Dragon Warrior 4. Um, Conquest Crystal Palace, Uncharted Waters, Solomon's Key, Final Fantasy, Willow, Dungeon Magic, Wizardry 1, Star Tropics, Solstice, Crystalis, Captain Skyhawk. And then, of course, he also had a few loose ones. We got Mario 3 with the left side bros. We've got Wizards, Iron Sword, uh, Wizards and Warriors 2. We've got uh, Anticipation. We also have Mylon's Secret Castle. And over here with the manual Friday the 13th. Now for Super Nintendo, we have Uncharted Waters New Horizons. We have Zelda Link to the Past. And uh, yeah, there we go. No, I'm just kidding, because uh, we really have a thousand dollar copy of Chrono Trigger. <laughs> we have uh, a Draken. We have Lufia 2 Rise of the Sinistrals. Sinistrals. We have a Mint Breath of Fire. We also have over here a complete copy of Soul Blazer. Um, yeah, that one's like 300 ish. I looked some of these up. Might and Magic 3 Isles of Terra. We have Lagoon. Let me get over here. Because there is a lot here, guys. Like, this is nuts. Secret of Evermore. Illusion of Gaia. We have Act Racer. These are all C to the I to the B. The Seven Saga. I'm going to turn these all right side up. I don't know. Whoever put did this had them all upside down. And my OCD is getting the better of me on this one. We have Final Fantasy Dose. Oh, that, look at that. Look at that nice crispy box. Woo. Over here we have Secret of Mana. And of course you can't have Final Fantasy 2 without also having Final Fantasy 3. CIB also Square Enix. Um, now I don't know why we needed to have two copies of these three. 
but there they are. And over here we have, this one feels kind of light, Shadow Run, but it, there, it does feel, there's a there's a cart in there, it's just, it feels kind of light, like, I don't know if the manual's with that one. Final Fantasy, the Mystic Quest. We have Arcana, this one feels nice, minty, complete. We also have the first Lufia. Super Nintendo. And uh, that is it for those heavy hitters. Give me two seconds because I got a lot more to show. We've got Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Um, the box on the back is a little beat. I do want to show this. There's a little tear on the back, but everything else is in there. We got the misprint manual for Majora's Mask. Uh, down here we have some more goodies. These are the Segas, the Sega Gems. We have the big box Lethal Enforcer, almost sealed. They just took the top off. Woohoo, I guess. A um, couple copies of Shoot Sewer Shark, a sealed 64 memory card. We got Legacy of Kane, Soul Reaver, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. We got Monkey Island for Sega CD. We have a Final Fantasy VIII, but I want to point out. That inside is a disc for for Lunar on the PS1. And let me see what's up, what's on the other side. I don't remember. Oh, and then on the other side we just have the Final Fantasy discs for eight. The other two of those. Um, next we have Fantasy Star three on the Sega Genesis. We have Sword of Vermilion on also the Genesis. This is where things start to get crazy. Willie Beamish on the Sega CD. We have Lunar Eternal Blue complete on the Sega CD. We have Dark Wizard. This one, I, I kind of want to keep that one because I am the Dark Wizard, but anyway. We got Heimdall, if that's how it's pronounced. Heimdall, Heimdall, whatever. We also have the other Lunar, the Silver Star for Sega CD. We have Mansion of the Hidden Souls for Sega CD. That one for some reason looks like it's backwards. Maybe maybe that's in the backwards. I gotta fix that. This one here is the Grail for the Sega CD ones as far as I know. Price charting had it I think between six and seven hundred but only because there's a registration card in there and I guess people don't often get the registration card with that or something like that. Anyway here's they. Uh, ooh a disc only GTA 5. Maybe that'll end up being five ten bucks down the road um, now all this other stuff there's a bunch of computer crap that I mean I'm sure there's something in here that's worth money I gotta look all of this up these are all just random computer games I'm just giving you highlights of the other things but, but who knows maybe somebody on the that's watching the video might know what Hobbit is worth on the computer or like uh, Lands of the Lore maybe I don't know I was mainly interested in the, the video game stuff. Um, over here we have, I got Morrowind books, I got Morrowind on the computer, ton of EverQuest, City of the Heroes, these look to be Prima, strategy guides for different things, and I'm going to go show you guys the systems in 3, 2, 1, go, boom. So for systems we have a complete, P a complete NES console. A complete Super Nintendo console, all the cords. A complete 64. 64 has expansion pack, not sticky button. Uh, down on the bottom we have a PS1. Actually, I didn't look inside, here, so we'll look together. Nope, no game. Complete PS1. And last but not least, we have in there is Sega CD. Sega Genesis attachments thing. That's another couple hundred dollars probably. Uh, we have a computer game EverQuest and Vanguard, whatever this thing is. This is all just added bonus stuff. And uh, yeah, so I will get one more shot here in a second and I will recap this whole story. So in conclusion, I gained about five grand in profit all because I went to the ICOT Center this this morning to, to, to set up and sell at, at um, 
the flea market with, with Mama Kay. Um, went to Guy's storage unit. He said he had all kinds of people interested. Um, I had to do a bunch of maneuvering around. I, I had to ditch Ethereum. I didn't want to, but what are you going to do? I, I'm not passing up this kind of a lot. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, this technically classifies as the most valuable lot because that Sega lot I bought uh, last time, it had it was worth, I think, eight is what I ended up getting after everything was all said and sold. Um, and I got it for two and change. Uh, this one, price charting had it a little above eight at like nine. Uh, well, it was like 8,900, but that was not including the systems. And as you can see, I'll get more than four or five hundred for the systems, you know, and plus the computer stuff's going to be money. So there's probably 10K all in total here, but I won't know until it's, you know, starts selling. But anywho, I will keep you guys posted. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Greatest find, one of the greatest finds, if not the greatest find, one of the greatest finds in Game Wizard history. But value wise, it could be the greatest. I don't know. Anyway, I will see you guys next week for another misadventure episode of Video Game Wizard. I'm out. Guys, I just traded three thousand dollars worth of stuff for a minty complete in box earthbound. Everything's in here. Um, yeah, that yeah. I'll see you guys in a second. Josh is here. Earthbound's here. He claims I got ripped off. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I, I got money. Haters gonna hate. Anywho, thanks for everybody that has been watching this entire week with me. Um, it's been amazing. This video is probably going to end up being 20, 30 minutes. Maybe I don't, I have no clue. I got so many clips this week, but there she is. There's the Earthbound. Everything's in there. Mint complete. Everything's here. Mint complete. Um, anyway. Yeah, oh, 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 yeah. Minty, McMinty, McFresh, Minty. Anyway, anyway, I will see you guys next time for another Misadventures of Video Game Wizard. I'm out. Woo! Video Game Wizard. Shop. And Aaron's out looking for the Mario's, the Mario's. Okay.